When you unpackage the door controller, the LCD display should be on. There is a built-in backup battery that keeps the display on and saves program settings. If the display is not on, just plug it in for about an hour or so to recharge the battery. Please note that this battery is only for the display and to save program settings. It will not power the door. To allow the controller to power the door, you'll need to plug in the power supply. Programming the controller can be done before or after it's plugged in, and some find it easier to program before it's installed. If your unit has a key locking feature, you'll see that indicated here. This symbol is supposed to look like a lock. When this symbol is displayed, you'll not be able to change any settings. To unlock the keypad, press the CR button four times. To relock the keypad, press the CR button again four times. When the keypad is unlocked, after about 30 seconds of no activity, it will automatically lock itself. While unlocked, you can program the controller. To set the day of the week, press the D plus button. To set the clock to the correct time of day, the H plus and M plus will adjust the hour and minute. You'll see that this uses military time, not AM and PM. To set the open and close times, press the P button to go into the program mode. There are 16 different setting options. Normally you will only use the first one. It is critical that you ensure that only one program is set. We'll show you how to confirm that in the final step. Make sure your day of the week mode is set to function all seven days of the week. You don't want your bird stuck inside all weekend. Now we'll set the open and close times. These will be the same each day of the week. Press the P button and you'll see a 1 on the bottom left. This is program 1. You'll see the text ON noted next to it. The ON means this is when the door will close. The OFF means this is when the door will open. When it says ON, set the time you want the door to close at night. Press P again to change it to OFF and set the time you want the door to open in the morning. The final step is to ensure that you only have one program set. If you accidentally have more than one set, your door will open and close at times you don't want it to. After you have your time set in program one, go through all of the other programs to ensure they all have dashes. If they have anything other than a dash, you'll need to clear out these programs. That's easy to do. Just press the CR button on each one to clear it back to the dashes. After you've confirmed all other programs are clear, you can exit back to the main screen by pressing the clock button. Then ensure the controller is in auto mode and you're done. To test the controller, first ensure that the power supply is plugged into the controller and into a wall outlet. Then plug in the door actuator as shown. Ensure the keypad is unlocked. Then press the manual button. It will toggle between on, auto, and off. On will close the door. Off will open the door. Auto will apply the program you have set. When the controller is on, the red light will be on and the door should be closing or already closed. The light will stay on until the door opens in the morning. You can toggle back and forth to ensure the door opens and closes as desired. When you're finished, be sure it's toggled back to the auto mode so it will apply the program you've set.